All right, I have everything pulled out. Hello, friends. It is Wednesday, September 25th. I'm pretty sure that's the date. And we are going to start prepping for a convention. Um, I will be guesting at Lodi Comic Con here on Saturday out in Lodi, California, obviously. And so that means I have to get my table ready. Um, I usually sell like prints and stickers and scrunchies at my table. So I want to replenish everything. And I also want to try and like upgrade my setup a little bit. Um, so I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me. So that's what we're going to do. I already wrote out a list on my iPad. Let me get that. So I have the list and this is everything I need to do slash when I get done between now and Friday afternoon um, is all of the time I have basically because Friday I have book club. <laughs> it didn't, it, we were supposed to have it on Saturday, but then the, I forgot about this con. So we're pushing it to Friday. Um, so I have now, which about three o'clock till like Friday around four probably. Um, and I also have to work in between that. So this is what we're going to try and get done. So I want to update my inventory to match everything that I sell. Cause right now there's a lot of things that are just not on my square inventory that I put under miscellaneous. Um, and so I don't really know exactly what I have inventory wise. So I do want to update that. Um, we did give away a few stickers at sec anime. So I want to recount those and see how many stickers I have for the cosplay dropouts. I'll link our group down below. Um, because even though this convention, I am guesting alone, I still, I'm going to bring our stuff and try and sell it and make a little bit of profit for us as well. Um, I need to charge my square reader. That will probably be later. I also need to go to the bank and grab some cash just in case people want to pay in cash. So I have some cash change. Um, I need to go through my scrunchies and I know I need to make more because I did sell a good chunk at the comic first. There's a few things I need to add to inventory overall, like scrunchies, prints, stuff like that. And then I need to figure out what cosplay I'm going to wear because as a cosplay guest, I should be cosplaying there. So I have to figure that out. It's supposed to be like 97 degrees this weekend and my table will be outside. So it is going to be very hot. We'll see. We'll see how I decide or what I decide to wear. Um, I also need to print out a few things slash um, make a few things to print out. Um, my dad gave me a printer. It's like chilling over in <laughs> my dining area. So I'm going to try and put that together to see if I can get that to work. If not, I have to go out and get those printed. So I will have to plan to go pick those up. Um, I just need to print like a QR code and some new price listings for the new things that I'm coming that are coming in for my table, which I will have tomorrow. So I'll be able to share those with you guys. Um, but that's everything that I need to do. Um, so today I think I'm going to work on updating my scrunchie inventory. Um, just making sewing all the scrunchies that I have. I have some fabric left over from when I made my Chimeco Gajinka. I just like brain farted for a second. I was like, what costume? Um, my Chimeco Gajinka, it's like this Japanese cloud fabric. It's really, really pretty. I accidentally double ordered the fabric. I ordered like twice as much as I needed. So I'm going to try and use that to make some pretty scrunchies and it's like a silk satin fabric. So I think that will be good for scrunchies. And then I have a few pre-cut scrunchie strips, I believe of the manga panels and the Akatsuki, Akatsuki clouds. Um, that I sell at my table as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those going I think and I will probably work on some of the like digital work um, when it comes to like print prices that I need to print for later on just so I have all those files ready to go um, But yeah, let's let's get started. We have today Tomorrow and half of Friday. So like two and a half ish days To get everything done. Let's do it Okay, so here are all the scrunchies I have. So 
this top bin has finished scrunchies that don't have tags and also pre-cut like pieces um in these bags are all of the manga pieces so you can see like the fabric is already pre-cut into strips i also have the akatsuki clouds here um and then i have a ton of halloween ones left over from last year that did not sell i have more in the bottom box as well these used to have tags on them but i did take the tags off to put them on a different type of scrunchie that i knew would sell better throughout the year so i have these that i need to put tags back on and hopefully since it's almost october it is halloween spooky season that these will actually sell well that is that is the hope because i have a lot of them and then I can't figure out a better way to store these right now. So we currently have them in an Amazon box. Um, and I have quite a bit of them. As you can see, um, I don't need to make too many because I have all of the extras in here and I'm definitely not going to sell all of these. Um, but I do want to replenish a few of them specifically the Akatsi Cloud, and I have some other fabric from back when I made my Trimeco Gajinka cosplay. Um, I think I mentioned this earlier. I doubled up the fabric, so I want to make those as well. Um, just so I can fill up the empty space, like there's empty space here, like these can be pushed down a little bit. Um, just to get my inventory as high as I possibly can on the off chance that it's popping and my scrunchies sell like crazy, but I don't think they will. Um, I usually get like a decent amount of sales, but like nothing too crazy. So I still want to put replenish those just so I have them because I think the, the cloud fabric will do really well. And of course the Akatsuki is going to do well because anime. So um, yeah, that's the first thing I want to do. Um, and then I'll be able to move on to doing all the digital work that I think I need to do in terms of like price listings and stuff. So let's get that going. I'm going to pull out my sewing machine. So it's been a few hours. I did take a little bit of a little scroll break, um, but I have managed to make six scrunchies. After I looked to see what I did and did not have, um, I went ahead and made four more of the Akatsuki scrunchies. I still need to trim some of the threads off of these, um, but now there's five total. And I also made one, I think, Spy Fam and one My Hero. Um, to balance out because I have way more JJK than I have of these ones. I guess JJK just doesn't sell. I don't know. Um, so I have six new ones to add to the bucket. To the bucket. I'm going to take the, the fabric bags out and I can put those in there. These are the, all the ones that need tags. <laughs> wow, it's so full. Um, and I'm going to do the white fabric i don't know if i'll get to sewing them but i definitely will cut them out tonight this is the fabric you can see it 
my camera will see. There you go. It's like these clouds, satin clouds. I think they're really pretty. I have to decide what side I want to use, if I want to use the right side or the wrong side. Um, but this is the extra <laughs> that I got in the mail. So um, I'm going to make a few out of this as well. Maybe like three, probably like three or four. Um, and then I will be done. I keep hitting the mic. I'm so sorry. But then I will be done with scrunchies. And... I can move on to figuring out pricing for everything because I want to rework my pricing and I want to figure out um, little logos for the pricing or little signs for the pricing. So I'm going to work on that on my iPad afterwards and probably put on some like YouTube or some the boys on in the background. I've been slowly watching the boys after it's basically come to an end. I just started it. I'm like just finished season one so I've got time um I got a lot of episodes to get through that I could watch while I work on this um so I'm gonna do that I also need to get myself some dinner um so we'll see I might just cut these out call it and then feed myself and then work on my iPad actually I think that sounds like a plan so that's probably what I'm gonna do Hello everybody it is now Thursday I didn't end up finishing everything I said I was going to do but I did finish the white scrunchies. Um, I only did three. I really like them, actually. They're um, a bit more fabric than my other ones, so they have a bit more volume, and I really like the look, so um, I kind of want to make more, but I'm going to leave it at three for now until um, I see what inventory is looking like. Like I said, I already have a lot. I also made... Those Akatsuki from last night, and I found two extra manga ones that I didn't know I had, so those are in the bucket. So the bucket is pretty full now. Um, those ones still need tags. I didn't finish the tags. Um, I just got really tired, and I decided I wanted to relax, so that's what I did. Um, we are back in the same hoodie from yesterday. It has been really chilly in the morning. Fall is coming. The afternoons are still crazy right now. It's still like... 97 degrees like in the late afternoon like four or five o'clock but the mornings are really cold so we're in a hoodie it is my lunchtime from work and i am going to try and work on some of the tags but i also got a bunch of stuff in the mail i got my last package so i want to show you guys all of the things that i got for my table and i also have to set up the printer that i have and fingers crossed that that works otherwise i'm gonna have to plan going and getting those printed somewhere else tomorrow um so yeah that is the plan for today we are going to get pricing done get inventory done figure out my table layout today um get the tags printed out hopefully and on the scrunchies um and then if not i will have to go out and get those printed when i go out and get my change my cash change for the table um but yeah I'm going to clear off my dining table of all of my sewing stuff so that it's ready for a setup prep for later. And then I'm going to get those packages so I can show you guys what I got. Because I'm kind of excited to like level up. I try to level up my table um, every few times until I find a way that works um, for me. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop rambling and do that so I can show you guys. Okay, this is the best angle I could get with lighting. Otherwise, it looks super dark. So just ignore the background, please, and thank you. <laughs> here's my pile. Um, there are five packages here, one of which, or two of which, are not part of the table setup, but I thought I would just talk them through real quick. I got a bunch of tights. That's really it. There's two packages worth of tights. I ripped my favorite pair of Capizio tights, which is a hack that I use when I wear cosplays. It's not really a hack, but um, I use dancer tights because they're a lot more sturdy than your regular run-of-the-mill, like, store-bought tights. Um, they'll rip a lot faster. Uh, dance tights last a long time. I The ones I had were two to three years old, I think, or going on three years old. So um, they last a pretty long time, but I was dumb and I ripped them. So I had to get new pairs and I got the wrong color the first time. So I have to return those ones. 
but I got the right ones. <laughs> Moving on to the actual table, it starts with this one, which I'm pretty sure I know what it is because the other one came in today. So definitely no. So I got this acrylic stand. This is a business card holder, but I thought it would work for holding stickers. So I'm gonna try and set up and see how many stickers I can fit um, if all the stickers I currently have for sale will fit in here. Um, yeah, I think it's cute. And you can just keep buying them and like expanding your sticker collection until I obviously until it gets too out of hand but this is what I have for now I don't plan on selling way too many stickers or a ton of stickers um in the future um so this is what I'm doing hopefully it works you're gonna see when I test the table this next box I'm super excited for it is from Vista Print um not sponsored I just that's where it's from I order these oh my god these boxes are really cute wait oh why is this so cute this particular item from another company and it's really expensive there so I decided to try Vistaprint because I've heard other creators talk about Vistaprint and so I was like why not and um we'll see how the quality is but I liked the price so um but these are my new business cards I ran out of business cards so I had to design new ones I like to do them like K-pop photo card style. So I have, if it would focus, a picture of me and cosplay on the front. And then on the back, it has like my name, my socials, QR code for my beacon link tree situation. Um, yeah, super cute. Um, and I have two boxes worth. So I won't be running out anytime soon. I think I got like, 500 because <laughs> it was like five dollars more to go from 250 to 500 and I was like why not so um I'm gonna have these for a while very happy about those because a lot of people like especially in my last couple of shows that I've guested at would ask me like hey do you happen to have a card and I'm like I did but I ran out um so there are those, and now I can give those out at conventions as well when I'm talking to, like, convention coordinators and photographers and all that jazz. So, yeah. This is the last thing. It came with a hammer. That's why it's so heavy. It came with a little mallet. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is... Because it's not... I had to set it up. But this is a, um, like, gift card display. Like, spinny display. Um, I thought it would be cool to use to display my 4x6 prints. Because they're close to the size of a print. And I believe that the little cubbies are big enough to hold a 4x6 print so um that's what I'm gonna try and use it for and I think it'll take up or free up is the word it'll free up more space on my table because right now I just kind of fan my prints out across my table and I think that just takes way too much space so um I'm gonna try this see how it goes um hopefully it works yeah let's um let's unbox it I'm gonna put it together and so you guys can see what it looks like because right now it's just a box of pieces. <laughs> a lot of pieces. So I'm gonna put this together and then I'll come right back. So here is voiceover me because for some reason the audio decided to double up um, and it sounded terrible. So I'm just gonna talk about it real quick. This is what it ended up looking like. I really liked it. It does have three tiers, but I only did two. And it also has this little panel at the top where you can put like a price or a for sale sign on top. So I definitely am gonna utilize that. It was a bit weird about the frosted panels, but I realized that that was just a protective film and that you could take it off. And I'm just an idiot. But yeah, this is what it looks like and I was really happy with it, and you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like in the convention vlog for this. Guys, I really need to get a zoom lens. I'm so far back. I'm on my couch trying to film this, but here is my little mock setup. My coffee table is only four feet long, so 
I will have two extra feet in the center. I plan on having stuff on one side, stuff on the other side, and then I'm gonna bring maybe a couple props to display. Um, so we'll see. But I have the scrunchies there, and then a little for sale basket. Those are the ones that just don't sell, the patterns that don't sell as well. Um, those ones definitely do a lot better. So those ones are 15, and those ones I sell for 10. Um, I have my new cards in the center. They look so good. And the card uh, display works really well. So there's that. And then I have my tree on a basket just to elevate it a little bit um, to catch people's eye a little bit more. Um, I'm going to cover that with fabric so that it matches with my um, tablecloth that I just didn't put on this table. So I have a black tablecloth that goes on the table. Um, but yeah, also ignore the mess in the background. <laughs> There's everything! Time to rework the labels for stuff, printing out prices, setting up the printer itself. Um, yeah, it is now going on four o'clock. Um, I had to go back to work and I just got off, so we're gonna get back to work now. I've been watching market vlogs to help me feel motivated. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom floor. <laughs> it's just, there's not a lot of places to sit in my apartment. So it's just a lot of floor. I hope you guys don't mind that. But this is the printer. Um, this printer was gifted to me by my dad. It was just like an extra, I think, that him and his girlfriend had. So um, he was like, does anybody want a printer? And I was like, yeah, I'll take it. So I'm gonna try and set this up, see if I can get it going so I can print out the labels and stuff that I was working on earlier. Okay. Okay, I have it set up. There are no instructions. So I have to figure out how to connect this to my Wi-Fi and to my computer. Um, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit once I figure it out because I'm a bit lost. <laughs> guys, I got it set up. Look at it. It is all set up on my computer. Got your on the background, of course. So I am going to pull up Canva and I'm going to print and hopefully it works. Um, I checked the cartridges. I had to download the app and they're like half full. So I should be good to go until I have to buy new cartridges. is very harsh but that is because it is dark outside i have not filmed at all today um 
But happy Friday. It is the last day of prep. And unfortunately, the day has gotten away from me. There was just a lot of things that came up last minute that I needed to do. I just got back from book club. Um, I had to run to my dad's house um, to pick up a canopy tent for tomorrow. And work was overwhelming. <laughs> so I haven't been able to touch anything. So I have some like focus energy gum in and we are going to power through. I have to finish printing up some of the signs, the pricing signs. I need to add labels to the new scrunchies as well as switch over some scrunchie labels because I decided to make some glow in the dark um, distinguishable labels for the ones that are glow in the dark so that people can see actually on there that it says glow in the dark. Um, yeah, and then I need to take everything out to my car. Hopefully it doesn't get too late because I am just a girl. I have my square reader on the charger ready to go. I did inventory yesterday. I have everything like pretty much ready to go on my coffee table. Not my dining table, my coffee table right now. I'm looking at everything. Um, I just need to grab a few more things out that are stored away currently. And then I will be good to go. I have to fix some things on my costume. I did a poll over on Instagram if you are interested and in actively or being active in polls that I do for events and such. Um, you can check out Instagram. Link is down there. Enough self promo. I have to fix a few things on my costume. It shouldn't take too long. It's literally just like two things that I need to do. So I need to pull that out, make sure everything's ready to go. Um, yeah. I'm hoping to finish this soon um, so I can actually get a decent amount of rest in. Sometimes time gets away from you and that's, that's okay. I'm gonna power through. I'm gonna put on some YouTube, get this done so I can get ready for tomorrow. So I can have a good con tomorrow. Look at that pile of scrunchies. All of them are done, just time to pack them away. And then the next thing on my list is to print out and cut out all of my signs, my pricing signs. Let's do it. So this is where I am with packing. I do have a few more things that need to go in a bag, but that bag is out in my car. So I'm gonna take those down, bring the bag back up, pack those, and bring that down and put it in the car. The tent is in the car. They will be providing a table and chairs for me, so I don't have to worry about getting those. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done, guys. I'm very happy to be done. It is going on about 10 o'clock, I think. All right guys, that's gonna be it. I still have to take everything outside, but I wanted to say bye first. Um, I have to get to bed soon. I have to be up really early um, to set up, but I'm excited. 
I will have the vlog for this event up as well. And I promise I'll be better at vlogging this one. Um, it can be kind of hectic with people coming to my table, but I will be try to remember to actually film this time around. Um, the last one was a little sad. I know, I'm so sorry. Anyway, thank you guys so much for those of you who made it this far. If you like this video, please let me down below. I can definitely make more. Um, I kind of like doing more behind the scenes, little daily vloggy kind of things intermittent with my other content. So let me know if you guys like this, um, I will keep doing it. Um, if you guys enjoy watching cosplay related content, feel free to hop on that subscribe button. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated. And also interact with this video by liking and sharing. Um, that would also be big, very greatly appreciated. And a quick thank you to all my patrons, you guys. I love you guys so, 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 so much. You guys help me out way more than you know. And if you want to check out my Patreon, feel free to check it out. I have tiers as little as $1 with a bunch of behind the scenes, early releases, photo sets, exclusive videos, all that jazz. Um, yeah, but if not, interacting with this video is just enough. All right, that's going to be all, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.